Okay, 20 is greater than 10, so it um, reverted to, since that is true, since 20 is greater than 10, and I said if cell C9 is greater than cell D9, I want my result to be bananas if true, and if that was false, I want my result to be apples. If I make this cell 9, which is less than 10, that would make my argument false, and my result would turn to would be apples and this is good for things like bonuses I have an if um, function tutorial on here um, so go over that if you want to get into more detail and it also shows me using the if function inside of an if function and here this is a function that re that um, uses Texas arguments basically all it does is the proper function um, it's there's you know argue different functions that deal with um, that deal with text and you again you can go through here and you can, can explore them and see what they do and test them out I'm going to show you one I'm going to enter in my name all weird and that's obviously not the prop, proper English so I can hit equals also, um, it doesn't matter. You can do them uppercase or lowercase. It's not case sensitive. And I can refer to that cell as a single argument. And what I'm doing is I'm telling it I want the, to convert the content into the proper format. And there you can see it capitalized my name. So this is good for like titles. Excel, Excel for noobs and then you can see that it changed it to a correct title okay also you can see how the time changes every time I do something and that's because we have the now function going on in this cell alright so I think that was a decent introduction into formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel um, just remember you really have all the learning tools right here on your computer um, and the by searching through the by either using the insert function dialog box and experimenting with the different functions and exploring through uh, you know the function library and just going through the descriptions and practicing them obviously you can hit more functions. You can go here and probably have to have a decent understanding of some of these engineering functions before you can just enter them. Same thing with statistical functions. But they are here, available to you. And that is why Microsoft Excel is extremely powerful and required by most employers. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of my other videos. I have um, my Excel for Noobs series that goes into great detail of all of these, um, the, all the different features of Microsoft Excel. And even though some of them may seem very basic and drawn out, they are detailed. And if you really want to be a master at Excel, you need to know the little details. So um, be sure to go through, watch my videos. Um, these things, I'm doing these for free. The only way I make money off of advertisements. Um, uh, so just be sure to share these videos, um, rate them, comment, and the more views I get, the more motivating it is for me to create more of these. And whenever you do things like you interact with these videos by sharing, commenting, um, rating, and subscribing, that helps with. Um, the algorithm that Google has set in place and YouTube has set in place to rank these videos. So that can be your form of repayment since these videos are free for you. Just interact. Alright guys, thanks for watching and have fun with Excel.